Thanks, Connor. I'm here with Coach Terry Joseph and Coach Isaiah Pryor coming in, the grad transfer from Ohio State, but you've known him since you were at Texas A&M. What did you guys like so much about this player? Well, you know, he's a big physical safety, uh, shows that he can really run, um, and he has good cover skills, and, you know, it's about developing relationships. Uh, me and his family really hit it off back then, and uh, obviously he chose to go to another school, but everything comes full circle, so we're excited about him, and to get him here mid-year, it just helps our cause going into spring football. So when he was here on campus, he decided to bring his family back for a different visit and really stress the importance of family in this program. How much does that mean to the coaching staff to be able to have him feel that family aspect when he came here? Well, when you get a prospect that, um, you know, family's that much of a priority for it, it's right in our wheelhouse as far as recruiting. Um, as far as the atmosphere that Coach Kelly uh, emphasizes, it, that's what it's all about is family. So when he wanted to do that, we kind of knew that we were the lead dog in his recruiting, and obviously we were able to get it to the finish line. And like I said, we just can't wait to get him here and get it started. And another guy that you've developed a good relationship with is Landon Bartleson. He'll be making the switch to DB from running back, which is a switch that you're familiar with from your time at Texas A&M. How does your past experience with that help you in this transition with him? Yeah, you know, at Texas A&M, we had a kid, Brandon Williams, who we converted as a senior, and he was able to play pretty well and get drafted pretty high in the NFL draft. But with Landon, uh, same skill set, long, can really run, but obviously we have more time. And so that would, that's what makes it exciting about him. He has tremendous speed. He's played a lot of offense, so he has ball skills. And so now it's about the transition of being a defensive player. So we have some time with him, but we're excited that he gives us something that we really don't have as much length in the secondary as we would like. So we're excited to get Get started with him. And geographically, some new territory. Caleb offers the first signee from Mississippi in the Brian Kelly era. So what does it mean to be able to go somewhere like that and bring a kid back to South Bend? Yeah, you know, to go into Mississippi and get a kid, a great athlete, you know, me being from the South, um, you like going down there and, and being able to get some guys. But the good thing is that what we are selling at Notre Dame, the program, it's different for those kids because we hadn't been down there a lot. But to get a guy like this, hopefully we can uh, start a new trend of getting more guys from the South that can come up here and make a difference for our program. So you talk about selling Notre Dame. What exactly does that look like? Well, I mean, a chance to win a national championship, a chance to get a quality, if not the best, uh, education in America, and a chance to be in a different situation than a lot of the other universities that recruit these young men. I think uh, everything from not having athletic dorms to um, not being in a conference to playing from coast to coast every year, playing in NFL stadiums, all of those are attractive sales to young men. And we just got to get in front of more of those guys in the South, and I think at the end of the day, we'll get the guys that we need to help us compete with some of those other top programs. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Thank you. Back to you, Connor.